Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by Le Chatelier's principle. You should then be able to apply Le Chatelier's principle to describe how the position of equilibrium is affected by changing the concentration. In the last video we started looking at reversible reactions. Remember that in a reversible reaction the reactants can turn into products and the product can then turn back into the reactants. If we start our reaction with just our reactant, then we've got a rapid forward reaction. This means that the concentration of products increases and the concentration of reactants decreases. As the concentration of the reactants decreases, the rate of the forward reaction also decreases. And as the concentration of products increases, the rate of the reverse reaction also increases. Now at some point, both the forward and reverse reactions are taking place at the same rate, and scientists refer to this as dynamic equilibrium. When we reach dynamic equilibrium, the concentration of the reactants and products stop changing. Okay, now the position of the equilibrium tells us whether the equilibrium lies towards the reactants or towards the products. In the example I'm showing here, at equilibrium, we've got a greater proportion of reactants than products. So we would say that this equilibrium lies towards the left or towards the reactants. In this equilibrium, we have a greater proportion of products than reactants. So we'd say that this equilibrium lies towards the right or towards the products. In some cases, such as this one, we have equal proportions of reactants and products. We would say that this equilibrium lies in the center. Okay, now we can change the position of an equilibrium by changing the conditions. And the effect of changing the conditions is described by Le Chatelier's principle. Le Chatelier's principle states that when an external change is applied to a system at equilibrium, the equilibrium moves in the direction that reduces the effect of that change. We're going to look at how to apply Le Chatelier's principle to changes in concentration, whereas in later videos, we look at the effects of changing the pressure or changing the temperature. I'm showing you here a reversible reaction at equilibrium. And remember that at equilibrium, the rates of the forward and reverse reactions are the same. In this reaction, two reactants react to form two products. Imagine that we increase the concentration of reactant A. Because we now have more molecules of A, we've applied an external change to our system. Le Chatelier's principle predicts that the equilibrium will move in the direction that reduces the effect of this change. Because we've increased the concentration of A, the rate of the forward reaction is now greater than the reverse reaction. This means that more A and B now react, forming more C and D. So the effect of this is to reduce the concentration of A and B and increase the concentration of C and D. Eventually, the rates of the forward and reverse reactions will be the same, and we will reach a new equilibrium. So we can see that when we increase the concentration of reactant A, the equilibrium moved to reduce the concentration of A. Because we've now formed more products, we can say that the equilibrium has shifted towards the right. Okay, now imagine that we took the reaction, but this time we increased the concentration of C. Because we now have more molecules of C, we've applied an external change to our system. Le Chatelier's principle predicts that the equilibrium will move in the direction that reduces the effect of this change. Because we've increased the concentration of C, the rate of the reverse reaction is now greater than the forward reaction. The concentration of C and D will be reduced, and the concentration of A and B will increase. Eventually, the rate of the forward and reverse reactions will be the same, and we will reach a new equilibrium. So we can see that when we increase the concentration of C, the equilibrium moved to reduce the concentration of C. Because we formed more reactants, we can say that the equilibrium has shifted towards the left. In the next video, we look at the effects of pressure on reversible reactions. 